forever. His trustworthiness endures forever. His consistency endures forever. His sureness endures forever. His reliability endures forever. He gave all, he conquered all, and we owe him all. Let's praise him today for everything that he has done for us. This is our Super Bowl. Some 2,023 years later, we still owe him more than he has given us. There is always a reason. So let's get to it. Let's bow. Most gracious God, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for sending your son. We thank you for the image, the express image of you. We thank you for showing us love in tangible ways. We thank you, oh God, for allowing us to touch just the hem of his garment. We thank you, oh God, for the resurrection power. We thank you, oh God, for the demonstration of love and kindness and mercy and grace. We thank you, oh God for what Jesus did for us, how he turned the tides around, how he gave us the victory, how greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world, how we recognize that weapons may form, but they will not prosper, how we recognize that he will always be with us to the ends of the earth, and he will be waiting for us on the shore to say, come on, my servants, come on, my child, you are the one that I came for, that I looked beyond your faults and I saw your needs. Thank you, oh God, that from the eyes of the cross, he looked at us and for the joy that was set before him, he endured. Thank you, oh God, that when we look at our situations, we recognize that you're still in the middle of it. That you will stop the mouths of lions, that you will get in the heat of the fire, that you will be even when we can't say a word, you will know what we need and you will meet us at our point of need. So, Lord, we come just praising your name today. We come just glorifying you today. We come lifting your name on high today. We're coming saying, great is thy faithfulness today. We're coming, oh God, oh God, magnifying you, telling our problems about a great big God. Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're grateful today. Not just because the wind, but we're thankful for the word. We're thankful for being able to worship. We thank you for your demonstration toward us. So today we just ask that we walk in that gratefulness. We walk and we talk and we sing of your goodness and your mercy. Draw us closer, Lord, today. Recalibrate us today. Remind us of who we are in you today. Remind us of what we can do and who we do it through today. Remind us that when we abide in you, oh God, today, that we will be not only forever changed, but we will also be rewarded. That there is nothing that you cannot handle and nothing that you will not do to fulfill your purposes and your plans to us. Thank you for the long past that you handed it off to us that we have to run with it, but we don't run alone. We are never without you. Thank you for encouraging our hearts to remind us that we can get to it. Today, we're just going to do it. And as you say it in Colossians 3, 23, whatever we do, that's praising and glorifying and magnifying you. Whatever we do, we do it with all of our hearts as unto you because you are high and lifted up. It's in Jesus' wonderful name that we do pray <laughs> and give you thanks, praising you all the day long. Amen. Well, God bless each and every one of you. Have a fantastic Resurrection Sunday. I'm Dr. Shante Haynes with Heart to Heart Truth Ministries, helping you put feet to your faith so that you can walk victoriously. Be victorious today and continue to live to on high. Amen. God bless.
can find us online at shantahaines.com. That's C-H-O-N-T-A-H-A-Y-N-E-S.com. We are a division of Heart to Heart Truth Ministries and Heart to Heart Truth Foundation. Donations are welcome at shantahaines.com backslash foundation. At Heart to Heart Truth Ministries, we're helping believers live an abundant life based on God's word, standing on his promises, walking out his principles, sharing with God's people, serving as unto the Lord.